The special conversation joining us on the broadcast is Mr. Mukesh Aghi, who is the President and CEO of US-India Strategic Partnership Forum. Sir, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you, Mr. Aghi, for joining us on the broadcast. My first question to you, India building a consensus in a fractured world, G20 has been an immense success. Your thoughts on the critical areas of cooperation that have been identified, whether it's infrastructure or technology, in that joint statement? Well, this is a, a crowning moment for India and its diplomacy to be able to build a consensus in a very fractured world. China was abstaining, Russia was not there, and, and, and you had certain opposition, but to be able to get a consensus, it is a, a, a crowning moment for India. Now, from a development perspective, you look at, we talked about financing on climate. We talked about the uh, Middle East, Europe, India corridor on railway links itself. We talk about the uh, uh, earlier on, on the biofuel uh, alliances also. So I think we will see a growing momentum, especially on financing on climate, uh, picking up substantially. So it is a success story for India, and I think India needs to celebrate that. Indeed. Um, your thoughts on this special infrastructure corridor which is being talked about from India right to the heart of Europe, how critical it's going to be and is it really an alternative to the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative like many argue it is? Well, you know, you don't want to compare with BRI because uh, that was very, very predatory. Every project you look at is in trouble and countries are in debt. This one talks about financing coming from Saudis, technology coming from the Europeans, and, and then the, uh, the engineering and manpower coming from India. So it's a very collaborative, cooperative uh, deal. But more important is it, geopolitically, it has an impact. If there is a war and uh, closure of Persian Gulf, then this becomes an alternative to supply goods. So geopolitically, economically, technologically, is a win for the region itself. Indeed. India-US strategic ties, especially on various trade bilateral issues, have, has only de uh, deepened um, in the last few decades. In fact, the last one decade has been marked by increasing cooperation between the two countries. G summit, uh, G20 summit, the role that the summit plays in terms of further emboldening these ties. Well, I think uh, it is a win-win partnership. It's a partnership which is based on the geopolitics, hmm. and China is a key factor there. It's a partnership which is based on economic uh, uh, issues. You have uh, U.S. companies getting harassed in China, so they're looking for secure supply chain. India becomes an alternative. Uh, it's a partnership of market access, sure. where U.S. companies now have more access to the Indian market as it grows in its purchasing power. And Indian companies always had access to the U.S. market. But more important is, is that you have a very large Indian diaspora in America. Over 5 million, one of the most affluent and most educated and most engaged in civic uh, duties in, in America. And their affiliation with India continues. They will keep on putting the pressure on either administration, either the Democratic or uh, uh, Republican, to ensure the relationship continues. So I think this is a relationship which will continue for a long time. It will get broader, deeper, and, and successful. All right. Uh, Mr. Aghi, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so, uh, so much for sparing your time and joining us on the broadcast on Viewpoint tonight.